building on last term's exciting signings of James Beattie and Tim Rakelne, Sorin, and ex-Manchester United striker Diego Forlan. I think when the draw came... Beattie may get a second stab at it! His first effort on goal was not the best, but he's the poacher. And that's what he's all about, the six-yard player that David Moyes bought has arrived at Goodison Park. It's the goal they needed, and James Beattie has deserved that. And look at the faces of the Evertonians. It was good, Beattie got the initial challenge in. The Villarreal defenders give up on it. The goalkeeper flat-footed. But James Beatty has been alive to everything tonight, and that is a fine finish from him. Well, the disappointment of getting knocked out, both the Champions League and the UEFA Cup, hit the lads a little bit harder than they thought. Um, it was very disappointing. Um, I think the game in Vill uh, Villarreal, you know, when Duncan's goal got disallowed, was a bit of a, a kick in the teeth. And as I say, that I think that hit the lads a lot harder than they, they thought it, they thought it did, and it took us a while to get going in the league. Beatty against Czech. 1 0 Everton. Fantastic penalty from James Beatty. And the form book is ripped up just for the moment here. Uh, it's a great penalty. Very difficult to know how much pressure must have been on his shoulders running up to that ball. And the Here's a good ball in. Goal! James Beatty! lead here with 14 minutes played in this game and James Beatty gets his third goal of the season it's a wonderful ball whipped in James Beatty with the touch of Mark Schwarzer absolutely no chance quality pace on the ball Beatty away from Eki Orgins in the end of the back of the net and really took the ball in from Hibbert Beatty with a glancing header and just over the crossbar of Mark Schwarzer's goal here is McFadden looking for Beatty oh Denied only by the goal frame. James Beattie's improving form and his important winner sent the Everton fans home happy and at last started to indicate what a quality striker the club had on its books. Fortunate blip during a better run of results. Blood and thunder performance that heaped further pressure on former Liverpool playing hero and manager. And it surely will be. Oh, what an opportunity to clinch the points. Beattie has missed an absolute city. He's onside, he holds his run well. I think we take it. Season. That would see him suspended for the visit to Manchester United. This would be a major blow. It's wonder here. The PT would have felt he could have done better. It was a fierce ball whipped in again. There's a lot of zip on that surface. and As much as they can, it's a great ball. And what a goal that is. It looked as though West Ham would have it covered, but all of a sudden the ball fizzed in early again. And it was a true touch from James Beattie. And it's a hell of a striker's finish. Just got in between Ferdinand and Collins for a second. And that is a brilliant finish from James Beattie. First goal Everton won, one, West Ham United nil. Number, number eight, James Beattie. It was unstoppable, wasn't it? McFadden. Over on the left-hand side, comfortable crossing on his left foot. Left-footed finish, too, from Beattie. Fish off from Osmond. I'll tell you what, that was a goal-saving challenge from Thomas Repka. Oh, Villa Park since August. Mike Riley gives... Over 40,000 watched Liverpool's more clinical... Arteta. Kilban. And Beattie! And Liverpool have conceded a goal at last. After 761 minutes, James Beatty has found a way. That oh, was just exactly what they needed a few minutes before half-time. And in fairness, you look how many blue shirts again to the box. These four blue shirts in there. Davis does well to keep it alive. And that's a decent header from James Beatty. It's not an easy one. Ball's right on top of him and he has to use his neck muscles just to steer it into the corner of the box. For a man who's not been in great form. It's a decent finish, right? Flips away off Arca. Oh, this will be... Vale. 
And James Beattie has the opportunity to give Everton the lead. Saved, but Beattie follows up. Thomas Muir are unlucky. And Everton lead at Goodison Park. And once again, it's that man, James Beattie, who gives And Everton take an early advantage. Muir are diving well to his left, but Beattie, the coolest head in Goodison, he makes no mistake. And after Romadal's foul on Kevin Kilban, Everton lead by a goal to nil. A celebration. Well, beautifully worked between Everton's two midfield talisman, Arteta and Cahill. Catching Charlton, caught cold at the back. That beats Muir for all money at the near post. I don't even think James Beattie was expecting it to be taken that quickly. No. Equalises for Everton, ten minutes from time. Osman has salvaged this one for Everton. Held by the defender, but how big the keeper made with the other teammate, James Beattie. Cross was bouncing, in fact it may have come off the defender. It may be an own goal that one, just judging by the reaction of Cahill. But between him and Dunn... Ball. And now here's Beatty, searching beyond Senderos, and scoring! What a response from Everton! Seconds ago, their post was struck. Now they're in front. It's played over into the path of the front player, Beatty, goes in between. I thought uh, Loren may have done better from the covering position. Slicing between the two central defenders and keeping his footing and his nerve. Oh, that's a dreadful ball and a bad miss as well by James Beatty, who had time. Pulls away in the centre. And Sol Campbell in... Senderos wasn't able to block the ball. Ball in. Not cleared. There's Beatty. Deflected just wide of the post. Indecision at the heart of the Arsenal defence again. There you see Campbell. Didn't get a call probably from Loren. Loren playing in the slightly unusual position of left back. We played about 15 minutes of the of the Manchester United game and after that was, was out for long periods. So maybe if he'd played those games, you know, his tally might have been more. And, uh, you know. I suppose the Arsenal game was a, was a, a, a real turning point for, for both myself and the club. Um, it was a, a, f a fantastic performance to beat, to beat Ar Arsenal and, you know, it was, a, it was a good goal. And that sort of set us rolling on, on that run of results that we had. And uh, you know everybody enjoys the football when it's when it's going like that. So I suppose that was you know the the start of it and a real high for both myself, the lads, and and everybody. Predictable Manchester City stabbed in on the near post, and David Weir is claiming it. Taken quickly, a beat is there, and against all odds, Everton take the lead. Well, Blackburn went totally to sleep there, didn't defend it at all. Masterslee's not offside, time to run to perfection. That's a just top class header. Gets away from where are the centre halves? His BT again hit the target, prompting speculation of a possible England World Cup call up. But it was also the form from Valente. Beats Scaloni. BT gets an opportunity and scores. West Ham. Really impressed self destruct victims of their own downfall there. And Everton are back on level terms again, and a goal has been coming. Valencia, he's got loads of time to whip this in, then it's poor defended from West Ham and comes off Gavidon. Beatty takes a good first touch, he doesn't blast, he just picks his spot and loops it over. Hislop into the corner to get Everton. It's a basic goal, and it's only the side netting from James Beatty. How on earth did he miss? See, looking for Beatty. Beatty's got goal side of Knight, is that a penalty? He's awarded it. Everton. Nate wrong side was in no position to make a challenge here. Beatty steps up and Beatty scores. Everton lead by one goal to nil. Fulham's wretched away form continues. Steps up, just closes his body at the last moment. Here's uh, Cahill setting up Beatty for the chip. Oh, 
Oh, that is superb from James BT. He's got his second. Everton have got their second, and it's thoroughly deserved. The weight is absolutely exquisite. Nice little layoff there from, from Cahill. I think he's got a chance to get his head up, but that's a special piece of finishing. He uh, shielded it quite well in the area. I thought he was going to turn and shoot, which is what he always does, but you know he managed to just lay it back. And I know that the keeper would either be looking for a powerful shot or a cross, so he'd be like sort of standing off his line a little bit, and you know just managed to try and find the, the far corner, and it went in. Ends the full goal Boxing Day debacle. Tim Cahill, James McFadden and Leon Osman chipped in with the goal. Neville's throw, flicked on, and hit both posts, and finally turned in for Everton by Tim Cahill. Well, it was like slow motion. <laughs> There's a three Villa players around BT there. A little nick on from Arteta. A goal scorer who loves those types of situations, getting in there to finish it off. Leon Osman tapped generously. Yeah, I mean, Liverpool players incensed that Van Dersen finally lost their 2006 100% home record at the hands since the 89 90 campaign. But one bit of brightness. In the lead here. They... Mark, disaster. Still no substitution. We'll be in a moment. Up here for Leon Osman. Taylor can't keep a hold. Offside. Flag up against James Beatty. It's not going to count. Is he in an offside position from the strike from Osman? Probably is. He's lurking. He then becomes very active. And the linesman certainly in line with the situation. Flags for an offside. And again, it's just a clear obstruction on Leon Osman. Osman's playing a lot more narrower in this uh, second. Black armbands at the Riverside in tribute. So next season, we'll, we'll be looking to improve on our league position, uh, definitely. Um, and from you know, a personal point of view, if I can stay injury-free, uh, then I'll be looking for 20 goals at least.